Hi everyone, it's Terry. I haven't recorded videos in a couple of weeks because I've been helping out our family, and, but I wanted to record a couple today because of questions I've seen on posts on Facebook and to clarify what file types are saved in our machines. I'm on my Luminaire right now and I want to go into my design center and I'll select a shape in my design center. Now, if you're not familiar with my design center, I do have videos for the dream machine that cover my design center and that will help you get around, but I will be recording videos on my design center on my luminaire as well. And these shapes at the top, you see uh, several different shapes and some of those are closed shapes. Some of them are also closed shapes with fills. Then you have open shapes, although some of the open shapes, and since we're close to Thanksgiving, we're going to choose this leaf, are in fact closed. So I'll go ahead and select that and choose OK. Now that I have a leaf design on the screen, the first thing I want to do is I want to have a stitch on that the outside of the leaf. I'll go ahead and I'll choose a, we'll just leave it on a zigzag. I could use a triple stitch or a chain stitch, but we'll leave it on a zigzag and I'll choose uh, a brown for it. So let's find a dark brown color and choose OK. Now what I want to do is take the bucket and just touch the line. You might not be able to see that I touched the line, but it the sound that you make, let me touch it again. I don't know if you heard that click. That means there's already something there. Now I can use the pencil, and if I wanted to draw veins for the leaf, I could do that. Not very good, but you can see that I can do it. And what I'll do is I'll just undo those stitches because I really don't want them. Okay, now that the leaf is there, I want to fill it with something. So let's go ahead and let's fill the leaf with a, a decorative fill. So what we'll do is choose the properties for the decorative fills. We'll go in and select one. And I happen to like this pattern, so we'll choose OK. And we'll choose a lighter gold color, OK. And now we'll touch the bucket and touch the inside. Now you can see that fill. All right, at this point, I like everything that I've done, so I need to save it, and I'll save it to memory. I'll save it to both my machine and USB, and you'll see why in a minute, because I want you to see the type of stitch that is created, or excuse me, the type of file that is created whenever you save it to your USB or machine, and I'll save it to the USB as well. Now, we choose next, and if we're pleased with this, and I am, all we have to do is choose set, and it takes us to the embroidery screen. Now, you'll see in the embroidery screen that you now have the same leaf, but now it's digitized. When you're in my design center, all you have is artwork, and that's very important to remember. That's why the file name's going to be different than the file name that is saved on the machine side. Let's save this to memory. We'll save it to the machine, and let's just go ahead and save it to the USB stick as well. Now, I'll go back into my design center, and what I want to show you is by going to the pocket up here in the upper right, let's select it, you see that leaf, and this is a PM9 file. This is artwork. So all the objects that you see on the screen right now that have been saved on the machine, they're all artwork. And you can go back, like, let's just open up this little bear here. And let me just show you, I can add more to this this bear, or it was an outline, I, th I think, that went around a, des a design. But I can choose a fill pattern to fill it. Let's just choose stippling, and we'll choose a different color, and then I'll just go ahead and touch it. But you can see that I can edit this as long as I save it to memory. Now this is really important. If you don't save it, once you go to the embroidery side, and I'll show you that, 
it's not saved. So let's go into embroidery. We'll set it. Now I could stitch it out like this, but let's go back to home and exit my design center and just go back in here and let's look at the pocket again. You notice that bear doesn't have that decorative fill. So th that is very important for you. Now, I'll have a video on the PE Design 11 side where you'll see the file types. The file that is on the machine here is a PM9. Let's go to the embroidery side, and I'm not sure if it'll show up on here, but let's go to the pocket. You can see that it's a PHX file. And that is going to be the file type that you need to use if you have any embroidery software by Brother because it can read this file, but it will not be able to read that PM9 file in PE Design 11. I'll also show you what happens in BES4. Okay, get ready for part two of this video when we go to the software. Thank you.